The windy web. <laughs> no, what makes you think that? <laughs> <laughs> We might, might have underestimated the wind. Big strong boy. <laughs> Is that heavy? Uh, no. <laughs> Able to sit on that in this beautiful weather. Yeah. Are you getting a bear out, babe? What should we have? You can outcome? have a freezing cold Peroni yep. Red. Yeah. Or you can have a fairly cold Budvar. A freezing cold. I'll do that. <laughs> the wind goes down tonight, so it's 37, 35, 32, and then 26. And then at midnight it goes 27, 33, 34, 38, 39, 40, 41, 43, 44, 45, 46, 50, 51, 50, 54, ooh, 54, 54 mile an hour winds at 4 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> Someone messaged me on Facebook the other day, well, us on Facebook the other day, um, Cyril Dyson saying, does anyone else play the Moochers game? So for every drink we, we have, they have. So don't worry tonight, we're only having one or two. But then again, we are trapped in a teeny tiny van in the wind with nothing else to do. So we could get wasted. <laughs> we'll just add ourselves a nice little bit of tuna pasta because it's, the original plan was to cook hot dogs over the fire tonight definitely isn't happening mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a bit it's a bit it's a bit brisk outside so a couple of beers tuna pasta and then we're gonna relax tonight and just chill out so see you in the morning Last night was a little bit rough. I don't know what he's talking about, to be honest. I had a beautiful sleep. We've got this whole camping field to ourselves and it's kids' holidays. Yeah. I'm guessing the the winds put people off. <laughs> What's the storm called? Oh, I can't remember. Kathleen or something like that. So we came away knowing it was going to be a bit windy. And then once we got here, we realised that it was a named storm. Freaking right. Kathleen. Kathleen, it's called. <laughs> we came here for the, the Lakeland Festival of Light. A lot, a lot of people just stand at different stages up cat bells with lanterns and it creates this big light light trail up up the up the fell we tried to get on to castle rig farm campsite because that's got a view above don't water off cat bells so it would have been great but it was fully booked came to one of our favorites uh, burns farm and thought we'll either walk into keswick and watch it from the lake or we'll walk to the stone circle and get a bit of a distant elevated view anyway kathleen's seen to it and she's uh, she's cancelled the whole festival Come outside for the blue. Because it's a nice day. Sarah sat in the van like a big lazy lump, drinking a blue. But we just checking. What look at this. Look at all those pictures up there. Empty. Pictures the other side of the hedge. Empty. There are two tents the other side of the hedges here. That's it. Blank Athra. She's 
she's picking up a bit. <laughs> just been out to see the little lambs it's lambing season and there's quite a lot of sheep that haven't had babies yet but there's a small handful of lambs knocking around so I just threw the big lens on and tried to see if I could get some decent photos whether they're any good or not I don't know yet but if they are any good I might throw some up on the screen Our current situation is it's quickly approaching midday and we're still at the van and our plan is to walk into Keswick down the Threkel to Keswick old railway track but forecast said it's going to heavy rain at 11 o'clock it's 11 o'clock now we're looking in the distance and it's black as the ace of spades the sky the weatherman's changed his mind it's now going to rain at two o'clock what time is it it's about half eleven and it's spitting, but there's clear skies on the horizon. It's 5 to 12. Lots of cloud knocking around. Now, while we're not averse to go out, going out and getting wet, we don't choose to, but we, it doesn't normally stop us. But today's plan is to walk into Keswick and back. It's about a five and a half mile round trip. It's a long way to go whilst wet. <laughs> Jack's doing a sheep impression. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have the door open in the van because we're cooking. And the wind is coming in. It's howling sometimes. And Jack doesn't like the noise. So he's he's hid behind <laughs> he's hiding behind me on the bed. He's not a fan. I think we might just wait a minute. Despite the forecast saying it was going to rain at 11 o'clock for approximately one hour, it then changed its mind and said it was going to rain for approximately one hour from two o'clock. The rain came in shortly after one o'clock. An hour and a half later, it's still very much here. So all we can do is get the bed out and sit and wait for the weather to pass through. <laughs> Have a little time with the lives. Mm -hmm. Me and Alan have both just been looking at the weather. This is Alan's phone. 62 mile an hour gusts, 51 mile an hour winds, sunny right and cloudy. Right now, sunny and cloudy. Mine's 27 mile an hour winds, 53 mile an hour gusts, full on sun, and they're both the Met Office. They both say the exact same place. And the actual weather is That's cloudy, fun. really windy and a bit of rain. <laughs> Where are you going again? 
Are they packing up? Looks like it. <laughs> There's a few people on the other side of the hedge earlier who were setting up a tent in the bad weather. And then we looked and they scrapped it and they've gone. There was a couple in the tent, the roof tent yesterday. They've gone. There's another couple who turned up, I think I mentioned it before, in a, a roof tent on a different car. They arrived, sat in the car, I must have thought, sod this. Went for a drive somewhere, come back a couple of hours later, set up the tent, and the tent looked really sturdy, to be honest with you. It was putting up some battling winds. Anyway, they, <laughs> they're packing up. Okay, so in typical us style, our plans didn't go according to plan. We didn't walk into Keswick because the, the rain stopped pretty bloody late. It's now nearly five o'clock. The rain stopped about half an hour ago. It's too late to walk into Keswick and back. It'll take hours. So um, what we are going to do is go for a mooch into Threkeld. Maybe see if there's a pub. You sleep well? Yeah, yeah sound. <laughs> Kathleen kicked our ass last night, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've just never. We've we've slept in storms before, and I don't know whether it's just because we're quite open here, but it just it was relentless, wasn't it? Yeah. Normally, a gust of wind's a bit like, but these were like. <sighs> they went on longer than that, but I can't. <laughs> got no breath <laughs> but yeah the van just shook all night Jack was around I think it was about half one two o'clock was really scared of the wind and ended up curled up in a ball under the blanket in between us didn't he yeah it was just yeah so yeah so yet again we've gone away done f all because it was windy <laughs> the van's rocking that much didn't it the, the cup of tea and coffee are con constantly shaking in the cup. As you can see the sunshine in the distance on the on the fields there, moving really quick. Yeah, it is. It's coming over this way, like very fast. It's going to be sunnier in a second. Here it comes. And there's the sun, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be a proper YouTuber last night and get the camera out in the middle of the night to film the ferocity of this storm. But then I realised I'm a human being and I didn't want to rummage around for my camera while I was str struggling to get to sleep. But trust me, last night was worse than it is right now. And right now, even though the sunshine's just come through, this wind is not letting up. I feel so sorry for people who this affects, not us in a little camper van.
we couldn't come to the North Lakes without going to the old Keswicky and Chippy. Mm -hmm. Sarah's got fish and chips, I just got chips because I'm on a diet. <laughs> We've just been to the the lake, Derwent Water. Oh my god, the, gu <laughs> the gust of wind. You'd have been, if you're a surfer, you'd have enjoyed it down there. Mm. Gives it a bit of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Again, this video has been pretty non-eventful <laughs> because of the weather. <laughs> but it just shows you that Sometimes you can just get away from home. Yes, it probably cost us about 70, 80 quid for two nights on the campsite. And the same in the pub. <laughs> and then the same in fuel. But... There's where it is. It gets you away from crap on TV. Mm -hmm. It gets you out in nature. I was saying to Sarah before, we'd have seen this storm on the news at home if we didn't bother coming out. We were in it instead. We just got to see the changes in the landscape and the clouds whizzing by and all that boring stuff anyway. Mm. So now we're going to eat our fish and chips, well mm. I'm eating my fish and chips and then we're going to go home and watch all the crap on TV that we've missed. <laughs> no we're not, we're going to watch <laughs> Liverpool stuff United so we can maintain our mm. place at the top of the premiership. True. So that's us done. Full belly. Yeah, full belly. We've had a nice morning. We walked out the campsite because we'd seen um, Burns Farmer posted that one of the cows had had a, well the Highland cows had had a heifer a few days before, so we found them in the field, didn't we? Yeah, she's called April. Oh, is that her name? Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute. Um, so we got some photos, we got loads of photos, and I'm hoping that are going to turn out quite well, because we'll at on one the point, the, the mother and calf came right up to us, but mm. the only downside is there was a little electric like uh, box mm. um, right in the way of the bloody photograph, and it kind of ruined it, but... Yeah, we they came up really close. Yeah. So apologies that yet again we're away in the wind. <laughs> Not doing much. <laughs> we were, we, we do were. it so you don't have to. Exactly. So um yeah, I'm sure at some point we'll do something more exciting. Mm-hmm. But for now, au revoir. See you in the next video, kids. Say bye Jack. Bye. You lose. <laughs> <laughs>